blowing shit up? Go on, I'm all ears. Found the route the Morningstar uses to deliver their goods buried in the syndicate files. You saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck that. I'm saying we use a tank. This may be the best idea you've ever had. thought we already were. Oh, not like this. You've been personally selected for a spot on a game show here in town. Game show? You're not trying to auction me off on some dating thing, are you? Trust me, you'll love this shit. Meet me and I'll show you. <sighs> you better be right. Steelport, and welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Time to see how the game is played. Fight your way through Professor Genki's Super Sparkle Lab for fun and profit. Now, with every man, woman, and tiger shot, your prize money goes up. But look out, no one likes it when you shoot a panel. On it, unethical. Once you've collected enough money, the door to the lab opens up and you're free to go. But if you think it's that easy, you've never seen Kinky before. Oh, and one more thing. On this show, no one gets to take a break. If you want to stay in the fight, be sure to shoot the first aid target. Good luck. It's murder time. Fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? You got it, Zach. If our contestants can survive the deadly traps, armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, they can win a hefty pile of cash. This game looks deadly because it is. <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. <laughs> Our competitor isn't from Steelport this time, Zach. Today, we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world-famous Stillwater Street Gang. As many times as this former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over, and generally put through hell, this competition probably seems pretty routine. Uh, routine maybe, but lucrative. You are going to make Professor Genki-sized dollars driving hoes around, that's for sure. <laughs> Cha-ching! Thank <laughs> you. 
Apparently, our contestant is quite the hero back in Stillwater. Have you ever been to Stillwater, Bobby? I did, and it wasn't a good trip. My car got covered in sewage by a passing septic truck. Uh, really? What did you do to piss off the driver? I didn't do a damn thing. I just wish I had rented a convertible. Wait, you were in the car when this happened? Back to the end, our contestant is doing really well. Is that? It is! We have a present! A present is in the maze! Spectacular performance! Every contestant on Professor Dinky should perform this well! So, Bobby, how do you clean sewage out of a convertible? With a toothbrush. Really? No, I let the rental company take care of it. Are you kidding me? Oh, wasn't that kind of shitty of you? Not as shitty as what this contestant is doing to those mascots. Ah. They keep that up. They'll go home rich. It's been a long time since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting. And that's it! Winner! Crime always pays. Deep shit. Ah. I'd say. Picture this. I'll show you gone, you motherfucking freak. Calling my allies to arms, I met them with the solution to our problem. Okay, what the hell is that? A mobile sage! Hop in! I'll explain along the way to Planet Saints! How is this supposed to help us? Pierce is a singer! If he sings Aisha songs, we can calm the savage beast within Johnny, giving us a chance to reason with him! You gotta be kidding. And why are we going to Planet Saints? Today is Fan Appreciation Day at all those locations! That may turn up looking to reconnect with the Saints. Only problem is the crowd. What about... We'll have to keep them from spooking him. Take this bee gun my own genius creation. It should be able to hold off any crazy fans without killing them. Fine, we'll give it a shot. But this better damn well work.
Here we are. Pierce, guess you better start singing. Man, I hate you right now. <laughs> Get up, Pierce. We're rolling. The excitement of the crowd and the realization they will finally find their friend put the group in high spirits. Pierce's singing would work, just as the invention by yours truly had kept the fans at bay. With the strength of their leader guiding them all, there was nothing to fear. As they drove, they thought of all the good they will accomplish together. The Saints knew this was their lost friend, and were happy to see him alive and well. What the fuck did you do to Gat? Jesus, Jimmy. Uh, remember the plan. Get him calm before getting near him. This is on you, Pierce. Close. 
better make sure Gat's all right. We have to follow! Come on! I'll track him! Once again, to save our friend, we knew the faster we reached him, the better chance we had of keeping him alive. We had to keep our wits about us to make this work. Buddy. Shit! They start singing! I know it'll work! I really hate you both right now! This B thing work on Gat? I think so. I'm gonna have to try. Otherwise, Pierce is gonna have to get his head ripped off. Something more powerful. The most powerful feeling of all. Love. You didn't. You fucking did it! She was his one true love. I couldn't let him live without her. Holy shit, this... <laughs> this is working! <laughs> I told you! Kid, you got lucky here. Soon we can take them both home! Wait. You hear that sound? I should have known then. It was the sound of doom on our doorstep. Aisha! Yeah. No! <laughs> now? A pissed off cat was one thing. 
A pissed off Gat clone? We'll need something powerful to stop him. Lucky for them, I had just a thing.